Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to another episode of Spitting Venom, aka The Venom Blog. And today is comic book day. And I have, I think like $32 in my bank account. And uh, that's hopefully will last me till Friday. It's Wednesday now, so I'm pretty sure I just cooked my own lunch, you know, making chicken, getting back on the diet, uh, making sure I'm sticking to that. So I'm good on food and I got like a, a tea to drink uh, to bring with me to work. So that's good, uh, not a lot of soda. I, although I probably will pick one up at work because I can feel a headache coming on. Um, but today is comic book day. It's about 12.20 and I have to be at work in an hour. So I'm hoping I can make it to House of Secrets. And I think there's two books with Venom in it this week. There's Venom Inc. Part 5, and I think that's in Venom issue 160. I can't remember if it's a Venom issue or Amazing Spider-Man, I think it's Venom. And then there's also um, Old Man Hawkeye number one, and apparently Venom makes an appearance, or at least the suit does. So I'm really interested in that. So I'm definitely gonna pick, uh, pick those up. I'll give away one of the digital codes on this episode, and then the other one we'll save for a future episode. So thank you so much, let's get into it. So we're just gonna do this episode in my car because <laughs> uh, I'm at work. I got about t maybe 15 minutes left, maybe 17 minutes left roughly uh, before I have to go in. So I figured I'd flip through these books real quick, uh, kind of get a sense of them. I'm definitely gonna read them later tonight, uh, but this way when I get home, I can just go right to editing this. I don't have to shoot it, set up all my lights and everything. Um, and so yeah, I'm a little bit lazy today, uh, but also I was trying to squeeze this in, uh, you know, as I, you know, as I'm doing my everyday stuff and trying to get to work and stuff. So hopefully you guys don't mind me being in my car in this episode. Uh, this is where I. I filmed Transformers in my car. It's a show I used to do and I might bring back temporarily uh, just to finish out season two of it. But it, uh, I thought I was going to bring it back by now and I'm still behind on it. I did shoot a couple episodes though. So you'll probably see them, you know, over the course of the next month or so. Uh, but anyway, I went to uh, House of Secrets and I just want to give them a big shout out because uh, Golden Apple Comics is definitely my comic store. I work there. They helped me a lot uh, through a lot of tough times. But when I was working like freelance and production and stuff, I would hit a lot of comic stores all around LA. And one of them was House of Secrets. And anytime I was in the Burbank area or North Hollywood area, I would always try to dip over there and pick up some books and support them. They're a really great shop and they've always taken care of me. And when I was going around trying to get Soul Star on bookshelves and I was trying to get my own comics, like through Awesome Comics and stuff, they were always supportive. Uh, so we had other stores that were too. And I definitely plan on hitting them now that I live out in the Valley again, or in that area, I should say. Um, I'm gonna hit some of those stores so you'll see future episodes hopefully I'll get to dip in some of the other, other stores um, but that's where I picked up these two comics I got Old Man Logan or Old Man Logan Old Man Hawkeye um, uh, sorry uh, Hawkeye uh, but actually I flipped through this so far it looks really good I can't wait there is definitely some Venom stuff in it and we'll get to that uh, in my review of it uh, but then we also got Venom Inc number five and uh, I flipped through some of this and this is actually better than the last issue so I'm, I'm actually kind of hooked again with this book and uh, actually what we're gonna talk about in this episode is not movie related it's gonna be comic related um, um, I, I recently, I think his name is Iban, is his first name, and I don't want to butcher his last name, uh, so I'll just put his name up on screen here. Um, that is the artist of Venomverse, and I am really hooked on his art style. I really love the style he has, and I thought Venomverse was even better than just like the script, because the script was pretty good, Colin Bunn did a good job, but the art really elevated my interest in that book. And I heard he's gonna be drawing some of the, uh, maybe some of the Poison X stuff and then leading into Venomized, and he's I think he's the main artist on Venomized. So I'm really, really excited to see more of his work. So excited that I went to Facebook, now that I'm back on it, um, and I went over there and checked out his page, friend requested him, he added me pretty quickly. I told him about the, the this page, you know, like the, the show, um, and then I, he posted some artwork from from Venomized. So I want to show some of this artwork and I want to put the link to his channel or to his Facebook page down below so you guys can add him on Facebook. Um, Ibana is an amazing artist. I love his stuff and he this is the first time I've ever seen any of his work is on Venomverse. So I really am so pumped that he's going to be continually uh, you know being in the Venom universe and doing Venom related stuff. I'm so excited for that and Colin Bunn you work you, you teamed up with a great artist. Uh, you two make a really great team. So uh, here's the first panel here. I think this was the first one he posted where it said we're back and it was basically him announcing Hey, I'm gonna be drawing Venom again and I'm working with uh, Cullen Bunn and this is Venomized number one So he's just showing off like hints and like panels and stuff uh, But then there's uh, that image there, which is really awesome And these I'll be posting on my Facebook page or actually no I'm not even gonna post them on my Facebook page Just go check out them on his page and make sure you hit like uh, and tell him the Venom blog sent you if you want uh, But they, that's the first image the second image is here and it has the X-Men on it and I cannot wait 
wait to read Poison X and see Venom crossover with the X-Men and that whole storyline. I'm really interested to see. So it looks like there's a part of the story where it's them, you know, working together again. So Venomized apparently is going to have the X-Men in it, which is awesome. I More Venom and X-Men action. That's what I say. Uh, when I heard they were doing a crossover, I got super pumped, super excited. And I think it was Brenda Brooks commented like, oh, X-Men and Venom, heaven. And it's like, yeah, definitely the kind of heaven I want to go to has those two, those two in it uh, or that team and that, that character. Um, but then also after the X-Men uh, image, we have this image, which he just posted today, actually. Uh, and it's just like half a, you kind of see like it's blurring out towards the bottom, probably trying to hide some images and panels and reveals, uh, but just giving you a taste of his work on Venom and, and how the book is going to look in Venomize number one. And so far, very clean, clean pencils, clean drawings. I really like his style. So there you go. Those images, freaking awesome. I can't wait for that book. I think Venomize comes out in April. And it's a weekly series every week in April leading up to May. And May is going to be the big Venom 30th anniversary uh, event, whatever they're going to do in May. Um, so I'm really, really, really pumped. And hopefully this guy, even though he's drawing Venomized, whatever they do in May, hopefully he'll still do, still do covers or something. He probably can't contribute too many interiors because the schedule doing a weekly book is probably really intense. Uh, but... Hopefully he'll contribute in some way to uh, to the Venom May month. And then I also want to see Mark Bagley, uh, Tom Lyle, like anyone out there who did variant covers for Venom 150, anyone who's drawn the character before, anyone who's written character before, like David Michelini, it would be cool to see him come back and do like a like a one-off, one issue, you know, or backup story of Venom or something. Like I hope all these guys and gals that worked on the character come back and, uh, and write something and add something in there. Uh, that would be really great to add to the legacy. And man, that would be cool if we got Todd McFarlane to do a cover that would be really sick hopefully he will um, that would just make the whole package complete uh, anyway that's all i got to say in this episode thank you all for watching like share subscribe all that fun stuff let me know what you think of these images down below and make sure you go follow Ibon on facebook thanks so much have a good one see you in the future peace